What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pies Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over the news that you may have missed for August 25th and part of August 26th. I want to start with a small rumor, and this comes from Tom Henderson, and this is the source that has told him stuff about specifically the PlayStation controller, the one that was shown off at Gamescom. He knew about that a while ago. Same source said that there's going to be Discord integration. They're finally going to be, uh, you know, implementing it in the coming months. Uh, I, I believe they say update 7.00 so on and they're on six right now which i think is going to go up in september so hopefully you know halloween thanksgiving somewhere in that range we'd have discord integration into playstation that's exciting obviously that was announced a long time ago and you know it's in the testing phases behind the scenes but it's not out in the public eye yet Another story is, you know, the PS5 obviously got that price increase. We talked about that yesterday, and now it's just kind of double-checking on everybody else, right? And that's kind of what's happened. So Microsoft was asked, and they said, no, you know, we're not raising the prices of either of these. Nintendo was asked, are you doing it? And they said no. There were some people joking about the Nintendo thing that saying they should probably actually cut prices, not even be asking them about increasing prices. You should be asking them if they're going to cut it. But, you know, this again, it's not a console worse. I don't want to make it that I'm trying not to because you know I, I could honestly care less but it is a case you know PlayStation does it and then you have to double check and make sure all right well is everybody else sticking to you know the actual price and it seems like again both the switch and all, any Xbox I believe they were talking about the series S and X in particular those are all going to stay the same price a little bit more Hogwarts Legacy news obviously I've been talking about this quite a bit on the main channel but the pre-orders went live yesterday people were going through it it had some more issues as the day went on the collector's editions are kind of like rolling out so if you're into that $300 edition I think you just have to honestly keep on checking wherever you want to get it if it's Best Buy or GameStop or you know wherever it's going to be that you're getting it you just have to constantly be checking um, I don't know if they're necessarily going out of sale but they're you know it's, it's taking a while for them to do it and they apologized today that's kind of a, a little new news from Hogwarts is they actually issued an apology on Twitter an eight tweet thread just apologizing for the past couple of days and it's it's rough i mean again we talked about this on the main channel i don't want to dwell on it too much here but hogwarts has had quite a few not great days in a row um you know the trailer was good but it wasn't what everybody was kind of expecting i think people wanted more you had the collector's edition maybe being worth 300 to some but not others you know it's and then you had just the rollout of pre-orders that wasn't well done at all people were finding playstation exclusive missions now when they never had said that before so they apologized today the review scores for destroy all humans 2 reprobed is out now i'm actually going to be reviewing this tomorrow on the main channel i did get a review code so you can watch my review on it tomorrow morning but the reviews the early reviews it's a 70 based off of 21 critics i honestly don't know how many more would I actually do it it probably reaches the 30s or 40s and you know 70 not great nine good ones 11 you know middle of the tier ones i guess and then one negative push square actually gave this game a four which when you look at the other reviews that are like all sevens or eights you look at the four i mean that's a bit low i can tell you right now okay if you're worried about that i don't think it's it's that low i don't give review scores again i'll try to explain how i feel about the game in the review tomorrow but as of right now sitting here with you guys listening to this video this game is not a four in my opinion and it's actually in my opinion worth buying i don't know what score you want to give that worth buying would be my tagline and last up something somewhat small but obviously it made the news waves enough that i felt i wanted to talk about it the last of us is available now for preloads so you're seeing a lot of pictures on twitter of people saying okay it's available you're seeing it's it's a big game this is actually a pretty big uh, downloaded game uh, and you can now preload it now and then it obviously releases next friday so this is it. This is the beginning of this this run up. Obviously, there's been a lot of controversy of is it worth it? Is it not? I've spoken my you know my piece on it on the main channel. I think reviews go live on Wednesday, so it's just a few days away. We should get not that. I mean, what would a review for The Last of Us really be, considering we know the game? But those would be available um, in just a few days, and then next Friday it's go time, and we'll see how this game does. Let me know what you guys think about all these stories in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up, and I hope to see you all on tomorrow's video.